Okay, guys, today we're going to do a review on Daniel Jewelry. I uh, got a rose gold Cuban from them. It's a 7 millimeter, 20 inch chain. And this is the box it comes in. This thing is definitely shining. I wanted to get a Batman logo on there, so they did the enamel work on that. I'll do some close-ups of that to show you. It's very clean. The proportions are even. It's centered. I'm very happy with that. Even the black enamel has a shine to it. If you notice the background of the lock, it's not polished. So this part right here is not polished like the rest of the chain is. But the outline, there's a thin outline of rose gold, that's polished, it, it definitely catches the light. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. Even the black Batman logo is catching the light. So I kind of like how they did the, um, leaving the background kind of dull on the lock because it just makes the Batman pop more. This isn't a regular seven millimeter Cuban. This Cuban, it is box cut. So that's why it looks a little different. It's the box cut look. So just in case you're wondering why it doesn't look like a traditional Cuban, that's why I wanted the box cut. It's like a straight edge look. I think it looks kind of thicker than a regular Cuban too. This Cuban, the box cut Cuban, will actually weigh more than a traditional Cuban. So this weighs the same weight as an eight millimeter Cuban. So I was charged the eight millimeter price. So if you want a seven millimeter box cut Cuban, they will charge you the eight millimeter traditional Cuban price they will go up a millimeter. So whatever millimeter you want, if you want a 12 millimeter Cuban, um, box cut Cuban, then they will charge you the 13 millimeter traditional Cuban price because the weight is the same as a 13 millimeter. It's just a, a size up. So just keep that in mind if you want the box cut. Now I'm gonna measure the chain to see how long it is. And it's about 20.75 inches in length. So this is supposed to be a 20 inch chain. So whatever length chain you get, just keep in mind it'll most likely be an extra 0.75 inches. Now for the thumb part, we're gonna take our calipers. Remember this is supposed to be a seven millimeter. Seven point six, seven point five. That's not right. There we go. Seven point six. 7.5, 7.6, it's like fluctuating. And let me do this end of the chain. I did the middle and both ends of the chain. 7.5. All right, I wanted to give you guys a full view of the chain for the hang straight test. So as you can see, it does not hang straight. I'm just going to bring it in a little closer. See, the twist happens about right here at this point right there. 
that's where it twists from here to here it's straight and right there is the one point where it twists and I'll show you why right here in the middle of the chain y'all see this right there right here it twists okay and I'm going to show you why that is right here in this area so I got to find the link and this is it right here this link is kind of chopped and screwed right here there's like these little lacerations in the link okay these little cuts like a little saw just came through and chipped them off like a little dremel or something it just chipped like into the link this is the reason why the chain does not hang straight this one link right here excuse my cat guys she is so nosy oh mischief please mommy's trying to shoot a video mischief so yeah like i said this is the only link where it's like this where it's like has these lacerations these cuts in the link and this is what is causing the chain to not hang straight um the rest of the links are like really smooth. There's no other issues with this chain. Everything else is smooth completely. So I don't know if this was just an oversight on their part um, or what, but um, yeah, it does not hang completely straight. Um, that being said, I do not care because this chain is it hangs fine around my neck. I, it doesn't kink on my neck. Um, that's the only thing that I'm worried about. As long as it looks right and feels right and functions properly on my neck, I don't really care about um, it not hanging straight. I mean, I wouldn't even know to do the hang straight test if it wasn't for that boy, Cuba. Actually, I, I should probably call him a man, the, the man Cuba. Um, I probably, I didn't even know anything about Daniel Jewelry until I started watching his videos. So shout out to him. But, um, yeah, so just know that the chain that you get from Daniel's, it might not be perfect, but I mean, um, it is perfect around my neck. And to me, that's what matters. So I don't care. And I'm very happy with everything else. Like there are no other issues with this chain. Like. I don't even have any lights on. This is just a little bit of light from the outside and you can just see the shine on it. Like, it's a really beautiful chain. I think they did great on the enamel. The enamel is great. Um, and let me show you how the sleek lock works because I could not find out how to open this. Like. It was crazy. This piece, you see this flat piece right here? This goes on the bottom side of the lock. So once it's open, I'll show you how to close it. This piece goes in here, and there's, a, there's like a female end and a male end in there. That goes in there. Right? It lines up like that. And then you're going to hear a nice click when you close it. So this lock, it isn't going anywhere, y'all. It's nice and strong. It's sturdy. It's stable. It's not going anywhere. Also, I like how they have the 14 karat stamp right there on the lock. That's great. And you don't need a magnifying glass to see it, like a lot of other necklaces that put it really small on the lobster class or something like that. So you can clearly see it says 14K. Okay, so my dumbass was trying to open the lock from this way, okay? And this is just where it swivels. I was trying to do that. And then I was trying to open it from like, I saw this little piece like um, coming out a little bit. I was trying to open it from there. That's not what you wanna do. This long piece right here is where it opens at, okay? 
that's where it opens at. Then you just take this piece, the other piece up, lift it out, and that's how it opens. And I just wanted to show you all the tag that came with the chain so you guys can know I'm not capping about anything. So it's 14K, 93.3 grams. It does indeed weigh 93.3. I weighed it myself. 7 millimeter, 20 inch. I did not pay $7,200 though. I think I paid $5,600. Don't quote me on that though because... I paid for it three months ago, so I would need to go back and check, basically. So don't quote me on, on $5,600, but it was somewhere around there. They charged me $250 extra for the enamel, I believe. If you all could let me know about this, they told me the chain would weigh 100 grams. Should I get a refund for the missing 7 grams or 6.7 grams? Can y'all just drop a comment and let me know if I should get a refund or not? So I'm going to do some neck profiles so you guys can see what this looks like on me. But I'm very happy with this chain. It's, it's a beautiful chain. I had to do a voiceover here because apparently I'm not smart enough to talk and model a necklace at the same time. I'm a small female. For those of you that can't tell I'm a female, I thought I'd make it clear Believe it or not, some people actually think I'm a male, although they're usually really old people or a handful of white people of all different ages. I weigh 120 pounds and I'm five foot five, so you need to take my size into account when looking at this chain. Most people watching this video are probably bigger than me, so this chain will look smaller on you. That being said, for my small frame, I do have fairly broad shoulders. Also, this chain looks bigger on camera than in person. My only complaint with this chain is I would have bought a six millimeter instead of a seven millimeter had I known an extra half millimeter would be added onto the width of the chain. Other than that, the chain is awesome. I love it. Uh, if you'd like to see more quality content like this, like and subscribe. I have several Jacoji chains I can do some videos on as well.